Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger, Burning Dog fans. Last time I defeated a great big boss that was made out of those three shopkeeper monks merged together, and it left behind this crystal. Hold on to your butts, because I feel like this one's going to be important. Okay, I think he's coming. Please let me do the prophecy bit this time. I'm staying out of this. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> and so you made it through the test of might! Okay, what's next? <clears throat> to fulfill the prophecy, you must now pass the test of faith by taking the leap. The leap? <clears throat> the leap, yes! I don't get it. Well, test of faith. Leap. Leap of faith. Makes sense, no? Oh, just jump already! Come on, I was trying to have an epic moment here. Now, hero, lend your courage to hope and your strength to purpose. Then dive into your destiny to emerge as the one true messenger! Hell yeah. Lend your courage to hope. I like that. Having hope without the courage to act on it is meaningless, after all. Whatcha? Uh. Oh. Nice hat. Nice cape. <laughs> awesome. Like I said, guys, I watched the trailer. Sweet 16! Achievement unlocked. You know what? Time travel to the future. I think I got another one for beating that boss. Uh, I did the thing, or did the thing. Defeat the arcane golem. Nice. So yeah! MIDI art, uh, sound effects, much more detailed sprites. I'd say we've reached the 16-bit era, folks. And I wanted to say this, if you go back to the very first episode and watch my intro, I was very specific to say retro art style, not 8-bit art style. <laughs> oh. Nice hat. I said that before, but I do like this new sprite. It, and how much more lively it feels with these new animations. Ow. Very much reminds me of my uh, childhood, the music sounding like this. Although, to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of uh, MIDI music. What, I missed one. It always feels like it's trying to be something it's not, you know? Like, this is just an imitation. What happened? I warped or something, and everything looks different now! His eyes actually look like little flames now. I like that. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. <laughs> Seriously, wow! Any idea what happened, though? Sorry, I just can't get over that hat. <laughs> Welcome to the Cloud Ruins, remnants of a civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. This place is beautiful, but the structures feel precarious. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How high am I? You mean in my opinion? 
What? Oh, geographically. Well, you entered the Tower of Time at the top of the mountain, and then exited through the top of the tower. So I'd say fairly high. Enjoy the sights! New look. What's the deal with everything looking so different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implications of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Pardon? That moment in the Tower of Time? Yeah. It sent you to the future! Neat. Yes, precisely. Neat. There once was a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy. It is well deserved, he began. But if you feel like helping even more, there are two gnomes hiding in the forest who are even hungrier than you are. Oh dear. Uh, that boy was an empathetic one. His mind was uh, in made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them without even saving a bite for himself. I just assumed they were going to eat him. Thank you, kind little boy, the gnomes beamed. It seems you have lifted our curse. Indeed, to punish them for their greed, a spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest, carrying a magic little mill capable of reducing anything its bearer desired. But the little mill's magic would only be activated once the gnomes are fed by a stranger acting out of selfless generosity. To starve whilst carrying a relic promising abundance, a cruel fate indeed. Now you can imagine the little boy's surprise, and he was given the magic item. Name something you want while turning the crank to the right, and the little mill will produce an endless stream of it, the gnomes explained. Turn to the left, and it will stop. After creating a huge pile of food for the two gnomes, the young boy went back to his village to help the populace with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sister grew in jealousy. One night, she couldn't take it anymore and stole the little mill from her brother's bedside table, along with two leftover pies from that afternoon's feast. Adding insult to injury, she left on the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have her turn in the role of the popular purveyor. Once out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which at her taste were lacking a little something. It was time to try that little mill's magic here. I can give me salt, she said, turning the crank to the right, and salt she got. Heaps and heaps of it. Now, older sister had never bothered paying attention to how the mill could be stopped. Stop, little mill, stop, she shouted, first annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Salt soon overflowed the boat, the boat itself, sinking it under the weight. It is said that the sunken little mill is still operational to this day, and is the reason why seawater is salty. The end. That was interesting, but it feels more like a kid's story explaining things about the world we build we know the actual reason for. <laughs> Tough crowd, huh? Why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge it? So you're looking for additional takeaways? How about this? Seeing how Big Sister's anger led to her demise, irritated people were henceforth referred to as salty. Oh, I got another one. Seeing how Big Sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people were henceforth referred to as not being worth their salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll keep on coming up with morals to do with salt. <laughs> uh, huh. I guess I was expecting more upgrades to appear in the future. I'll just save up for that. Yes, I need to touch this again. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I like that. I just noticed there are interstitial frames. It doesn't just instantly go from him standing up straight to him touching the ground anymore. Sorry. I don't know why someone always dies horribly in all these stories. the person had it coming this time, but still! I think everyone could learn and not die. Oh, this is where I'm actually meant to be going, isn't it? I thought I was being clever, but then I looked up and saw- oh, there's no way I can get in there. Hello? I had a feeling that was an enemy. All right, fine. No. C. 
See, what happened there was that I walked off the edge when, before I jumped. Then I immediately let go. Then I realized what had happened and glided again. Uh, uh. Okay. Ow! I walked into a fireball face first. How humiliating. Wait, what's over there? Can I actually get over there? Hypothetically. Okay, but why? I don't see a uh, power seal symbol on any of the walls here. Well, then what's down there? Oh, right. Ow! Ah, uh, yeah. Hell yes. Delicious! Mmm! Six hundred and fifty more to go. Ow. Ow. Oh, hey. Away. I like that. See, that looks different from the wingsuit here. It looks like he's just holding his cape behind him like Batman. Need it. Come on, ladies, here we go. Nope. Off to hell with you. Do a backflip, yeah. Why am I going up here? I am not. Okay, Bull the baller. Okay. I don't like you. Side note, you'd think it would be easier to grab onto the one with the rocks on it. Oh, shit! I see what's going on here. It's going to force me to go back and forth between them. Oh. Or you could have watched your step. Nice new animation, Corbel. Oh, jeez! That's why that's there, because I totally forgot which uh, area that was. Death to you, and to you. No. My shame! It grows! So how come I look totally different? Well, mostly different. And Corbel and the shopkeeper are just the same design. But, you know, prettier. Nope! Okay, that sucked. 
Well, at least I'll never have to do that again, he said, already knowing it was a lie. By the way, I dig the bits that are just one tree floating on some earth with rocks on it, or b bricks on it. Mmm, dig that animation. Aw, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I guess it's practice. Hmm. Fine, I'll just grab them. No, I didn't get any of them. Embarrassing. Now then. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. I'll just glide over. Look at Gaiden posing so dramatically. It's like he's been upgraded into, uh... One of those, uh, job-based uh, RPGs. Where, uh... You know, all the classes have a class that's them, but better. And it looks like this is whatever is above Ninja. I remember I played one of those once when I was a kid, where uh, you upgraded ninja into samurai, and I look think back on that today and think, some people will be really pissed about that. I guess that was always there, wasn't it? So, cool hat. <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> Is it why you chose to wear one as well? What? Well, you have the same hat. No, I got it first. Oh, is that what you're going to tell yourself? Fine. I did have the hat first, and you were all over it. Right, yeah, all that... Uh, yeah, right, yeah, all that happened, sure. It's true, though. Look, you can put your head in the sand all you want in an attempt to preserve your ego, but clearly it's not going to work on the person that was there when it all happened. Blocks look cool, too. Okay, I don't know what I meant to do here. Wait, are those...? Okay, I'm just chilling out on the, on the clouds, like it's the Jetsons, or Heaven, or something. Oh shit, it's a dragon! In my defense, I didn't know I was going to have to run. Oh, I'm terrible. Okay, full speed ahead. No. Right, I keep forgetting I can't swing my sword when I'm holding on to my wingsuit. I'm actually getting frame rate drops here. Extremely minute ones. It's currently at uh, 55 frames per second. Oh, instant death. Thank you. I really wanted the one where he said that to be the one where I beat the arcane golem. Huh, he disappeared like that was a boss, but you can't fight this, it just instantly kills you. I guess the message is, don't fuck with a dragon. No, oh, goddammit, I did it again. Right, I need to be using the, uh, the rope dart there, that's what it, the problem is, not the glide. Okay, you can rope dart onto clouds, just FYI.
Okay. Yeah, I just want the gems is all. You know what? I'll just drop. Where's your hat? I'm just kind of surprised it's this one instead of, you know, just a- Oh! I know I already got the, uh, the thing, but, you know, it's tradition. Show of hands, how many people genuinely didn't know that the messenger did this with the, uh, the graphics? And the audio, I guess. I like that you can cling to the wall at the very bottom. Like, look at how majestically I'm posing. Looking out over my city, and you're just sort of grabbing the wall. I mean, I'm no ninja, but I feel like I could grab onto a wall. <laughs> uh, let me just get somewhere up here, and okay. We're going to enjoy the challenge of this room, which I can already tell is going to be a joy to get through in the next episode of Let's Play The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Later!